we just started bird season, first day of collecting, and right now we're running the totes, the first tote um, through my three post reverse osmosis, and a feed pump, and then a Procon pump with a one horsepower motor on it. And right now, I have the valve going back into the tote. And when I hit about five or six percent, I'll close that valve off and then I'll open this one up. And then it's going to feed right into the To this barrel and I'll have the second RO this is um, the RO bucket uh, the RB25 and so then we'll run it from this blue tote into the white tote and then from there it goes to a feed pump so I'm, I'm what I'm hoping to get is get the white toad up to seven to nine percent before I throw it in the pans. So it'll go to the feed pump, get the holes coming up through the wall, up here and then into a valve I have. This is a faucet valve, quarter turn. And then we'll run it into the pans with the aerators. So this is a two by six evaporator and with the aerator they can they can run this fire as hot as I want and then just just the temperature with the amount of air that's going in. Let's take the outside. This is um this is actually the permeate from the RO. So I got clean water to wash everything up with, rinse the ROs, everything. And here's my concentrate tank. So it's coming from the RO, the three post RO in there, and gets discharged right into this tank, right through my window, into the tank. And this was completely full, so we got it down to I think, uh, I think we're about 100 gallons right now. And this is the raw sap that we got. So we got raw sap. Once they get down to about 5%, maybe 6%, then this can get pulled up into that blue drum. And then I'll switch over totes. I'll shut that one off. And then we'll run the raw sap, and that's going to get discharged back into the concentrated tote. And because we're off-grid, we are running generators for the power for the ROs. That will go through probably 5 gallons of gasoline per day. It could be a little expensive this year with the gas prices the way they are. The permeate water is coming out of the reverse osmosis. Going to this tube down there. It's getting discharged. Right here. So that's all the pure water coming out of the, the sap right now. So that's where we're at. Any questions, let me know.